Now the second half about to begin in just a moment. Here's Kobe. He's got 36. Golden State part of that muddled bottom of the Pacific a season ago. Yeah, they ended 5-11 and 11 in the division, Kevin, and that was the same record as the Clippers and Kings, so all three of those teams were packed up tight at the bottom of the barrel. Starting the second half, here's Don Nelson's five. Monte and Curry in the backcourt. David Lee and Andres Beatrice up front and Williams. Gasol against Lee. Four on the shot clock. Williams kicks to Lee. Can't cut the lead to single digits. So it's the Lakers now. At one point, they led by 16. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. They get Stephen Curry. You talked about the bottom of the Pacific last season. Which of those teams do you think will have a breakout year this year? Well, I would start probably with the Clippers simply because they get a healthy Blake Griffin back. The number one draft choice a year ago. He can have an immediate impact on that team. So I would probably point towards the Clippers. Bia Drench cuts the score to single digits. That's really a terrific look inside. Set him up beautifully. Curry with the steal. Anticipated the pass before it was thrown. Nice interception. Ellis against Kobe. Ellis can't get it to go. They've been really strong on the glass thus far. Mm -hmm, sure have. And Curry picks him up defensively. And Kobe finishes inside. Kobe's got 39. Here's Curry. He's got 14. Timeout called the Warriors. And while we can, here's a look at the teams that had the fastest hands in the league last season. You take a look at the Warriors. The number two team in the NBA really deft in getting their hands in the lane. Well, you talk about teams that had a great defense last year. You got to mention these guys. I mean, they were great at finding ways to come up with the ball. Deflections, loose balls, and steals. It's dumped off. Ellis. Back to Curry. Arcs it high. Clark, the Warriors coaching staff, says that Steph Curry is extremely responsive to suggestions. Yeah, and that's a good thing, to be coachable and ready to receive coaching. Um, they wanted him to come off screen more aggressively, and once they told him that, he started doing it consistently. So he gets them both. Here's Fisher. Gasol passes to Bryant. Back to Gasol. His first shot of the game. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Gasol's got his first points of the night. And with Steph Curry, who grew up around the game, he's already got a great understanding of how to play. And you know, Kevin, it's... Um... You know, it's kind of like growing up in the family business for somebody outside of the world of sports. He knows the nuances of what's expected, the nuances of the game, and that always serves you well. It's been a solid outing for Curry. He's got 16 points, and his two steals round out those numbers nicely. More than half their points have come from him alone. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Fisher. Just over three minutes left in the third quarter. With Steph Curry last season, the Warriors just kept adding to their arsenal of deadly shooters. Yeah, and if you're going to struggle, one of the things you want to make sure you can do is shoot the ball, and they can do that. Um, they were a team that could score with the best of them, Kevin, and outside shooting continues to be a strength for them. No good on the free throw. The 82-game grind of the regular season, always an endurance contest for NBA players. Well, I like what Shane Battier said, Kevin. He thought the season should be shortened. I don't know if 58 games is the number, but I'm a proponent of at least shortening the season by 12 games, maybe take a month off the regular season. They double-team Kobe. Curry with the steal. Warriors trail by nine. Kept alive. Here's Ellis. The second effort. They rule this one. Goaltending. Help the shot. Nice. Big momentum builders, those second chance points. Here's Fisher. 
Outside, Kobe. A little long, but it goes in. Kobe's got 41. And Clark, with regard to the grind of the season, David Stern suggested keeping the same number of games but reducing the wear and tear by setting minutes caps for players so you you know, have to use your bench more. No, I think that's way out there. I would go back to what Shane Battier said about reducing the number of games so it would be easier on the season ticket holders if you minimize, if you cut down the home games from, say, 41 to, Battier said 29, that certainly would allow people to have their money go farther. Picked up by Ellis. Takes it up. Kobe misses. Warriors trail by seven. Outside Curry. Can't get it to go. And the Lakers go with it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. Bryant. And again, no good by the Lakers. Fisher against Curry. Back to Lee. Pass to Curry. He's covered by Fisher. Clock at four. Here's Williams. Nets it from the wing. Williams has got his second basket of the night. You know, the defense should be okay with giving up that shot. It's not likely to hurt him any more time. Timeout called the Lakers. Some changes for the Lakers. Lamar Odom has checked in for Gasol. Brown comes in for Kobe. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Derek Fisher. Golden State also making some changes. Darrell Wright's checked in for Williams. And it's Pargo in for Steph Curry. And the turnover by the Lakers. Let's take a look at the players who were the best on the glass a season ago. You look at Lee. He does a great job inside. One of the top rebounders in the league. You know, he was actually a monster on the glass. We talked about him throughout the season, and though he didn't lead the league, he was a big factor in a number of important games. Pargo, guarded by Blake. From 11 feet away, and that is good. They have now scored six unanswered. Lakers leading by three. Deflected and taken away by Ellis. And he drops it in on the layout. Ellis has got 10 points in the game. Right now, he's just too good, Kevin. Way too good. They need to bring a second defender and try to make him give up the ball. Odom kicks to Blake. Odom a screen. Pass to our test. Five to shoot. Can they get it? And there's Steve Blake on the assist by our test. And so here's Golden State, trailing by four. Pargo, guarded by Blake. Here's Pargo. Lamar Odom pulls it in. Well, it's obvious they definitely come out ahead when it comes to rebounding in this particular contest. Boxing out, good positioning, and then pursuing the pump. And the third quarter is over, and a good finish looks to be in store for all of us. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game. I mean, he has been everywhere. Yeah, not flashy numbers, but his presence has definitely been felt out there. It's the little things, Kevin. He's getting them done. More from Los Angeles after this.